When placing AEC objects such as walls, doors, windows, and content such as furniture and equipment into the drawings, there are many settings and variables we don't see on the command line or at the cursor. These are only available in the Properties palette. It is critical, therefore, that the Properties palette is available. In addition, the Properties palette may be used to directly add styles and content that is not already in the file. Let's review this. From the Tool Palette's Design Group Design Palette, I'll click the Wall Tool. At the Start Point prompt, with Dynamic Input active, there is a drop-down arrow with many options. But notice that when I expand the Properties Palette, there are other options as well. In the General Group, Description allows you to add an object description. Below this is a Search section that allows style importing from template folders, internal servers, or Autodesk 360. The Preview area displays the current style. Clicking this area opens the Select Style dialog box. At the top, Search allows you to type in keywords to search the styles for. I'll type in CMU and then click the Go button. This filters the style display for only the styles which contain CMU. Clicking the X in Search clears this search. The Drawing File dropdown lists all of the drawings found in the Architecture Object Style path specified on the AEC Content tab in the Options dialog box. The Browse button lets you search for content not listed here. The Settings tool on the lower left allows you to change the preview and background color. I'll click Cancel, then press the Escape key. From the Application menu, I'll click Options on the middle bottom to open the Options dialog box. On the AEC Content tab, the first item at the top is Architecture Object Style Path. Adjust this if you want the Properties Palette search option to use a different location. I'll click Cancel. From the Tool Palette's Design Group Design Palette, I'll click the Wall Tool again. In the Properties Palette, the Style option lists Standard, and if there were different styles in the drawing, you could switch to those. Bound Spaces is set to Yes. This is useful when creating spaces. For example, if this were a toilet partition wall style, you may want this set to no. Clean up automatically is set to yes so that it cleans up with other walls. The cleanup group definition is listed. Segment type allows you to draw the wall as a line or an arc. In the dimensions group, you may be able to adjust the width depending on the style, but you will always be able to adjust the base height. There are four possible justifications. You may offset the wall placement horizontally as well as adjust the roof or floor line offset. I'll scroll down to the Advanced group. Here you may control the cleanup radius and style overrides. In the Worksheets group are options for plan modifiers and roof floor line. I'll minimize the Properties palette, make two picks to place the wall, and then press Enter to end the command. I'll click the Door tool and then pick the wall. I'll expand the Properties palette and in the General group we have the Style Name and Bound Spaces option. In the Dimensions group, the standard sizes for the current door style are listed. You may also enter any width or height. Measure to is set to Inside of Frame, but you may change that to Outside of Frame. Swing Angle is currently set to 90 degrees, but you may change this to any angle. The Location group has options for Relative to Grid and Position. With position set to offset, there is an automatic offset variable available. You may control the vertical alignment and threshold height. In my drawing, I'll pick a point on the wall to place the door and then press Enter to end the command. From the FF and E palette, in the Furnishings group, I'll click the Lateral Two Drawer tool. On the Properties palette General group is the definition variable for switching to different content in the drawing and bound spaces. The location group has a specify rotation option. When it is set to no, enter the rotation angle. Set to yes allows you to rotate the object after placement. The advanced group has the insertion offsets and attributes options. I'll pick a point in the drawing and then press enter to end the command. 
after objects have been placed, the Properties palette allows you to manipulate those particular objects. Picking the door in the Properties palette dimension group, I'll change the swing angle to 45 degrees. On the Display tab, you may create overrides and customize your drawings. In the Display Controlled by, I'll click This Object. In the Add Object Override dialog box, I'll click OK. From the Display Component Variable list, I'll click the Swing Component. I'll change the color from By Block to Blue, and the swing is now blue. Finally, the Extended Data tab gives us access to attached property sets. From the Tool Palette's Design Group Walls Palette, I'll place a stud wall with gypsum wallboard on each side. Picking the wall in the Properties Palette Extended Data tab, in the Property Sets from Style group, this wall style has the wall style's property set added to walls as they are placed. Now I'll place the hinged single style door into this wall, and then pick it. Again, on the Extended Data tab, it contains the door styles, frame styles, and manufacturer styles property sets. So the Properties palette is critical to using AutoCAD architecture, both when placing objects, as well as for editing them after they've been created.